It's Wednesday, July 14th, 2010. I'm Andy Waits in the News Bunker with a review of today's front pages. First, the New York Times. Police charged in 2005 killings. Four officers and two former officers are said to have opened fire on a group, killing a 17-year-old and wounding four members of his family. Convictions could bring the death penalty. This goes back to Katrina, so, you know, George Bush's fault. Guidelines seek early detection of Alzheimer's. It's the first major change in 25 years. The plight of the Gaza Palestinians, decades of despair, now a blockade three years old. This woman has eight kids and her husband spends all day on sedatives. Eight kids? Well, he's not spending all night on sedatives. Iranian saga takes U-turn toward Bazaar. He's a nuclear scientist who defected to the U.S. last year. Now he wants to go back to Tehran, demonstrating that crazy knows no borders. George Steinbrenner, dead at 80, owned the Yankees for 37 years, won seven World Series. California may drop their official rock, Serpentine, which has asbestos inside. Californians need to just stop sniffing the rock. Now, a check on the LA Times. Court tosses FCC ban on foul speech. Their policy against unscripted expletives on live TV and radio had a chilling effect. Well, yeah, that's the point. Cool it. Scientists are sniffing Gulf seafood for hints of oil. Stories of the Grim Sleepers killings are now coming out. Film suit has big audience. Chevron wants 600 hours of outtakes from a documentary they say could help them win an environmental suit in Ecuador. George Steinbrenner gone nine days after turning 80. And the National League wins the All-Star game after 13 years. Let's check the center of the oil industry, the Houston Chronicle. Pressure is on as BP banks on well tests. Testing was supposed to start Tuesday, but government approval is holding it up. Voices in the Gulf. This is the latest in a series about how the oil spill has affected life along the Gulf. The consensus? It sucks. But that doesn't make much of a series. Stiffest sentence for Emma's mom. Abigail Young got 20 years for failing to stop her boyfriend from beating her daughter to death. Ex-professor has won four lottery jackpots worth $21 million and she stays out of the spotlight. Steinbrenner. And rapper Paul Wall tells us how he lost 110 pounds. Now to the Logan, Utah Herald Journal. Wolf killed in Franklin Basin area. Hey, they're no longer endangered, unless, of course, they mess with someone's livestock. Group mails list of illegal immigrants. Someone collected 1,300 names and intimate details of their lives and then sent it to the authorities. Now the authorities are following up by trying to find out who made the list. Utah, the next Arizona. At 4-H Youth Day Camp, this child was attacked by a rogue worm. The Ruby Pipeline is approved 675 miles from Wyoming to Oregon. This scumbag was convicted of hitting his girlfriend's 19-month-old baby in the stomach and causing serious injuries. Dude, I know just the woman for you in Houston. And that's the front page review for Wednesday, July 14th, 2010. In the News Bunker, I'm Andy Waits.